State government workers are no longer allowed to have the app TikTok on their state-owned devices. Just yesterday, Governor Roy Cooper signed an executive order on the ban. Now to your side, Cheyenne Pagan joins us now from our Jacksonville studio. Cheyenne, you're digging deeper into this. You spoke with a local lawmaker and a cybersecurity expert about the decision. North Carolina is joining other states like New Jersey and Ohio in banning the popular social media app from government devices. It's all in an effort to protect the state's information technology. Whether it was just to watch funny videos about animals or even ones about new recipes, time's up for TikTok on state-owned devices. The biggest concern is, is that besides the, you know, the fun videos that are out there is that somebody might capture some data uh, inadvertently uh, that could be uh, have some security implications. The ban comes after two lawmakers expressed concern to Governor Cooper, citing it's a matter of national security. One public policy expert explained the reason why. The issue with TikTok is that it's owned by ByteDance, which is a Chinese-owned company, and so there is a little extra concern that the data that is being gathered through the use of these platforms is somehow working its way back to the Chinese government. <laughs> Experts say, like almost every app, TikTok can track your information through your microphone or even your camera if you give it permission to do so. So, with the order signed into action on Thursday, one local lawmaker says it's a good move for North Carolina. I think this is a positive first step towards protecting the government access, the systems, and, and moving to enhance cybersecurity. The order calls for a policy to be created within two weeks. In the meantime, experts say it's important to look at the bigger picture. We should all be more concerned about how big data companies use and manipulate our data. We should be concerned about that. Officials say the policy could potentially ban other apps in the future if they pose a cybersecurity risk as well. In our Jacksonville studio, Cheyenne Pickett-Nine, on your side. Cheyenne, thank you.